All right, so we're setting up the Grandstream GXP 1400 and we're going to register the phone um, with RingRoost. So basically all we need from RingRoost is three different credentials, the SIP host, the SIP username, and the SIP password. Uh, we're going to put this directly in the phone. You can actually do it directly through the Grandstream interface uh, under config SIP credentials. We're actually going to just get the IP address of the phone and it, Grandstream has a web interface so we can enter the IP address onto our computer uh, and change the settings. So we're going to do it that way. Um, to get the IP address, just go into config, network IP. It should show the IP address. Um, I would recommend using DHCP protocol um, rather than a static IP. Um, if you don't know what that means, just read the manual. You just got to set it to DHCP. Um, the IP address should probably be something like 10.0.0.3. Um, and you can type that right into your browser. Um, so um, the only thing about setting this phone up, that, I mean, it should be really intuitive. You just need to plug in the Ethernet cable and plug it in um, and turn it on. And then from there we will do this step of registering it on the SIP address. So now we're going to go We're registering the our Grandstream GXP 1400 um, with, this VoIP, um, with this VoIP phone on RingRoost. Um, so the three things we need is this SIP host, this SIP username, and this password. Um, so um, either open up a new tab or jot these down somewhere. Um, so here we're going to type in the IP address of our phone, and you can get this right from your phone. Um, I'm using DHCP, so it's something like 10.0.0.3. .0 .0 .3. Um, the default password for the GXP1400 is simply admin real secure, but that's the idea. It's not supposed to be initially. Um, so the GXP can actually allows us to register two accounts. We are going to just register the one account basically. Um, so under the account name, we this is what they're looking for, the SIP username. We're going to say SIP username and here we also put the SIP user ID here, authentication ID here, um, um, I'm not sure what this name is, but we'll just put the the username in there as well. Authentic authentication password is going to be the password, and now everyone knows this password, so I'm going to have to change it. That's all right. Um, and then for the SIP server, we are going to use ringroost.com. Um, use whatever you have in, as the SIP host. It should be it should be the same. So. Um, and that's all we need. So account active, yes, and then click save and apply. The nice thing about the GXP1400 is a lot of phones you have to reboot, but I don't think you do on this one. Um, then we'll go to status. It looks like it says it's still not registered, but sometimes it takes uh, just a second to load. You know, maybe it um, might have actually just rebooted. It's done something but okay um, yeah so now we have registered and now we can make a call uh, with the phone and that should be all you need to do so go ahead and test your phone out make an outbound call um, call a friend or something make sure it works um, have them call you back as long as you have this set up um, with your inbound phone the same as the caller ID um, they could just you could call somebody and they could call you right back um, so it's as simple as that. With with another type of phone, it's going to be a, a very similar setup. Um, it'll basically be you'll have to enter in some sort of SIP server, the some sort of SIP username, um, and you'll have to save it and maybe restart the phone, no matter what type of phone you're on. Um, so that's all there is to it.